The National Golf Club of Canada is our number one ranked golf course on the private side. Designed by the Fazios, this is just a world-class golf course and it's incredibly challenging too. Well, the National Golf Club of Canada, number one on the private side on our top 50 rankings. And Mark, there really isn't another property like this in all Canada, is there? Yeah, I can't argue. Again, I've never been out and played some of our great courses out west that, that have filled up our list on the private side, which I love. And I love the representation of Bob's point earlier in the show with, you know, uh, so many provinces kind of chipping in here on such a short list with only 25 in each category. But, I mean, you can't argue with the national. Uh, one of only two uh, Tom Fazio golf courses in the entire country. I mean, they nailed this out of the gates, and then every 10, 15 years or so, so I feel like they go back in and, and improve it again. Um, challenging at times is not the word. This this can be a real uh, brute, a real beast. It is stood up to the test of time. Magnificent condition, great variety of holes, uh, and, and you know doesn't lean on stuff like you know. It's very easy when we talk about the public side, guys. When we look at a property like links and a property like cliffs on our public list because you go well god created that property it was the architect's job just to not get in the way of mother nature mother nature and god's work this is different this is like hey we're giving you a landlocked landlocked property you know 20 minutes northwest of downtown toronto and and to build a you know, a masterpiece that is held up this long and keeps getting better every time they go in and tweak it. I mean, it's the National Golf Club of Canada, and it, it's it's been at the top of many lists over the years and uh, can't argue with its spot here. Bob, let's just say the tour was able to host a tournament at the National. Just how challenging would it be? Well, it's, it's you know, it's the hardest golf course in Canada, I'll tell you that. In fact, Graham Dillette, we were talking about this golf course earlier this summer, and he had a great observation of it. He said, the only thing that's wrong with, with the national is that there's no let up. Every single hole is hard. And, you know, that's for that reason. He, he sort of thinks there maybe should be some soccer holes in there, but they've had tournaments over there, you know, in the years that passed, they had this was called the Labatt's PGA where they brought in the PGA champions of every country. And you had a lot of top players who were there. And I think the winning score was only about two or three under par. Uh, I had a chance to interview the guy who who was behind the creation of this. His name is Gil Blackman, and there was a golf course there already when they went to to sort of redo this thing, and, and but they bulldozed it. But Gil Blackman's um, instructions to to George and Tom Fazio were, I want a golf course that you could hold the U.S. Open on with with a week's notice, and and they've got that. I mean, um, it's it's the hardest golf course in Canada. It's the most challenging, but it is something else. I mean, it is. Um, I don't even know how to describe it, but uh, I, for me, as a, like a 10 handicapper, once a year for me is enough. But if you're a great golfer, it is the place to play for sure. The National Golf Club of Canada, it is just a remarkable and very challenging golf course.